Hello Leo, how are you today? We're getting ready to look and see what Spirit wants you to focus on in this love reading for our Leo friends. Beautiful Leos. Okay. Faith, having faith, having faith in your relationship, having faith in life, having faith in love, having faith in the moon. <laughs> right. Oh, wisdom. Okay. Having faith and wisdom sounds very spiritual. I like it though. It's so important. It's such good, simple, like checklists to remember and realization. Wow, you're going to have a portal to some new knowledge in the near future, Leo. So let's see what we have here for your mutual energies. For Leo in love. Look at that bottom of the deck, lovers. Okay. There we go. We have, oh, the Queen of Swords. Okay, Libra Energy. You're really looking at something. You're trying to balance yourself out. You're trying to see what the truth of the matter is. This is mutual energy. Both you and your lover seem to be thinking independently of one another. And your heart is locked away in, your, in a cage right there. So you're trying to be very logical. The mutual energy currently, ah, uh, this is a recent past. Currently, though, you are feeling very, very deeply loving towards your person. This person looks as though they're missing someone and they have their, their finger going around a, a bowl of water. And it's really examining, doing a lot of deep dive into how you feel about your person, Leo. How your person views the situation. They view the situation as one in which they had a victory. They really like the attention. They really, this person really feels very strongly, Leo, that when you gave them attention, it was really beautiful. That um, that's something that they need and want from you. This is Leo energy. That is you in the reading, but it also, it's how your partner views you. They also view you as a person who definitely is very elegant, very honorable, that you get a lot of attention wherever you go. That's how they see you or the situation in which you're in right now. Mutual attention though, that's a very big theme is that you need to be focused on each other, acknowledging each other. And when that happens, the relationship goes well. Let's see how they view you, Leo. How does your person view you? So Scorpio energy, Libra energy, and Leo energy. Interesting combination. Okay, they view you as very loving, somebody that they hold in their heart with deep love. They feel, though, Leo, as though you've walked away. This is a soulmate connection. They are missing you, but they feel as though you've turned your back and walked away. So the Ten of Swords is an ending of some sort. They feel as though you've ended it that you've walked away, that you turned your back on the love that was in this relationship. How do they feel in their heart space? Remember, energies can be vice versa for anyone who's new to Tarot. Okay, in your heart space, in their heart space, Leo, they still love you. Look at that. Le beautiful energy. This is the infinity symbol. Your person will always love you. There is no other way that that's going to be the case. I mean, this is a strength card. This is, this person has a lot of pride, but there's something about your relationship that was transformative. They were allowed to be their inner spirit animal along with having a human heart. And that was, that is, and always will be with your person. Deep, deep love, the strength to be loving, the strength to make things work. How do they view the situation currently? That you're not speaking to one another, but you are. It's, it looks, when, when I get the high priestess, it looks as though both of you are seeking wisdom. There, you both feel as though the other one is thinking about you, missing you, but your person feels this very strongly. Your person may be very psychic. They may be very intuitive, Leo. 
They also put you on a, a pedestal. But there's something about the way things have happened between the two of you that makes them feel very much left in the cold. And you may feel as though they've left you in the cold also. The Five of Coins is sort of this defeatist attitude which is unnecessary because there's a key to go in the door, to open the door. So, But this person's so busy looking down that they're not seeing the gift they're not seeing the gift. They're not using their wisdom. You know, they're not keeping the faith. The realization is coming, though. I like it. Okay, so Leo, what do we have for your hidden mutual energy between you and your lover? The hidden mutual energy. Oh, my goodness. This is very, very um, pessimistic. Eight of Swords, again, not speaking to one another and really locking down on that idea. Very much feeling as though, oh no, I'm not calling them. When pigs fly, I'll reach out to them. So there's this very big divide that is completely unnecessary as I see it at this time. I'm not seeing any circumstances here that would indicate anything other than two people who are not connecting in a very, um, a very advanced way is the way I would put it. The love is there. Look at, I mean, this is your mutual energy, Scorpio King. Forever, happily ever after kind of love. This is forever. This is deep love. This is unconditional love, Scorpio. It can be the phoenix rising from the ashes, which I think is going to be the tale of this story. And your person does want a victory, by the way. The devil card, yep. Yeah. So Spirit is advising you that both of you are being a little bit manipulative. Both of you are operating in a toxic energy that is says, I want it the way I want it, and I won't accept it any other way. It's while it's understandable, it's not advisable, okay? That does not mean, however, that anybody should be giving their personal power away because what I see is a very two people who love each other deeply, but there's a stalemate in the way the relationship has gone. There's something about a distance also. There may be this may be a long distance relationship for some. Ooh, look at your outcome, throwing caution to the winds. Beautiful page of wands energy. Some communication comes through that's very fiery, that Sagittarius energy. It may be making plans to see one another, especially if you're at a distance. Oh, Nine of Cups, beautiful. Planning, you're planning to get together. You're planning on having fun together. It looks as though there's some laughter, there's some love, there's a new beginning. Oh, Leo, wonderful energy, beautiful. Okay, so we're going to go ahead and clarify everything we see here so that we can see what is going on with more detail. All right, so for Leo and love, please, Spirit, tell us why. Both a Leo and their person are trying to be so logical. Why do they have their hearts locked away in the recent past? There was conflict. There's conflict and neither of you can get over it. Both of you feel as though you were on the receiving end of drama that wasn't necessary. Both of you feel that way though. So, you know, the truth is somewhere in the middle, right? That's what a good lawyer says. All right, look at this Nine of Swords energy. The two of you have remorse, regret, you're all up in your head, you want that love, you're missing one another terribly. Oh, you're not sleeping at night, but remember there's a beautiful dove here, a dove who's coming in to protect the heart. Why is the Six of Wands here for the energy, Leo, of your person really wanting your, you, they want you to recognize them. And they feel as though when you did, the relationship went well. 
Oh, see, they want that love that you give them, Leo. They need it. They need the recognition. They need for you to speak your love and look at the chariot card. So, Leo, your person is coming back in to talk to you. They're coming back in. I'm getting the Scorpio energy. The, the um, energy of the chariot is, Honey, I'm home. It's Cancerian energy. The High Priestess is Cancerian energy. So... Leo, your person's coming back in. They're coming in hot. They want to get both of you back into this happy mode, a new beginning. And they want to, they're coming in to get the key. Da, 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 da. <laughs> Riding in to get the key, to put it in the lock, and then to pick you up by, your, by the hand and lift you into the future. Beautiful. Okay. Oh, Leo, I like this. Six of Cups energy. Clarify this, please, Spirit. Well... Your person views you, Leo, as someone who's been using a lot of Virgo energy. Um, they feel as though you are searching for an answer about what you're going to do. They're, they feel as though, well, look at this, we have the Tower card and the Queen of Cups. So your person feels as though you love them, but they feel as though you felt stabbed in the back or that they did not give you really enough attention that you felt you had to walk away so that I think they're reading this pretty well you know we have that nine of wands at Sagittarius the answer to this crisis with the tower card and the walk away is to show love you know this whole and we have the Queen of Cups and the King of Cups. So and the King of Cups is here twice. So very important energy. Pride could be getting in the way. I don't think that both of you are highly prideful. I don't read it that way. I'm not reading it as a big ego thing. I read this as a really tremendous misunderstanding. Yep, your person knows that you love them. They know they love you. Leo, Leo, Leo. You're the only one for them. I, I don't say that very often. And that's how they feel, though. You know, there's more than one soulmate for all of us. But we did have a soulmate card on the bottom of the deck. So why is the Nine of Cups here for how happy your person feels? Oh, the Two of Cups. They want to make, make an offer of commitment. They feel as though they want to come in and tell you what you mean to them. The devil energy is clarifying the five of coins that both of you are feeling stranded here and spirit is saying don't do this you know it's a spirit's calling on you to be very to keep the faith to use your wisdom and to realize that both of you are feeling lost in this connection so that's the wake-up call I like it I like it it's an important wake-up call both of you really love each other, but there were some instances and ways you interacted because neither of you were feeling the love, and especially your person, Leo, more than you. So, Eight of Wands energy, move forward rapidly. Oh, good, communication coming in, making love all night long. Oh, who wants to do that? Never mind, don't answer. I know all of you, or most of you. <laughs> Ah, the Page of Swords looking, trying to find you on the internet to look at your pictures. Ah, trying to make a stealthy move, not wanting to make a fool of oneself. However, look at that. We have the beautiful, it's time. The timing is here. It's now. I feel as though this is just days away. We have Major Arcana with the zero number for the fool. So the timing here is really quite lovely. Um, but it shows that it's time to get out of your head. It's time to stop acting like a lightweight. <laughs> it, it's speaking to the fact that both of you are feeling a little bit foolish for having been so stubborn. Look at beautiful Taurus King, King of Pentacles and the Queen of Swords energy. All right. The Queen of Swords energy is not that helpful because locking away your heart has been what has, you know, put you in this situation. 
Yeah, here we go. So what Spirit is telling us is that your person, Leo, this is Sagittarius energy with Leo energy. Your person walked away because they felt that you were being a player with them, that you didn't love them, that you just wanted a couple of hours of fun with them, and then you were on your way. So Leo, that is something that needs to be corrected in the reading. Um, both of you do possess the faith and the wisdom, the realization. Leo, okay. So let's see. <laughs> oh, trouble in River City. Oh, that's a line from a, uh, an old movie. Trouble in River City. Okay. Eight of Cups, see? So your outcome card is, is that you're walking away or that you walked away. So the backstory on how you're going to get this new beginning that's very happy as the two of you work together there was some conflict money could have been involved but I think it was more like principle and it looks as though and this can be working on the relationship really feeling as though there was an ego battle and we see it an ego battle got out of hand five of swords beginning five of wands ending both of you really having to acknowledge that both you know that you are not really your best selves and that walking away you know because this person's walking to their happiness and then we see happiness here so it is really reorganizing the relationship you know it's saying look at I don't know what we were doing, but I want to be here with you. This is going to require, and, and Leo, it looks like you're going to be the one to do this, that you're going to come in and reinitiate here because it shows you with the uh, Emperor card energy. So we have you coming in to tell your person that you care about them. You're coming in to open the key to the door. So let's see also what we have here for the clarifiers, keeping the faith. Why is Leo being told to keep the faith? Leo, why are you being told to keep the faith? Both of you are being told to keep the faith, you and your person. Seven of Pentacles. You've invested a lot in the relationship. And look at this. Keep the faith that the Ten of Cups can return that you can have the Ten of Cups. You were together and happy at an earlier time in your relationship. And it's saying that you can have that happiness again. But you have to keep the faith. All relationships go through different incarnations. You know, we certainly have had a challenge in the world. Page of Pentacles. The wisdom is make plans for the future. You know, make that moon within reach. When we make plans, because we see making plans to have fun, to have a new beginning, by making plans, it helps us keep the faith that love will return and it's wise to show your investment seven of cup seven of coins to show your investment actively by having the faith that you'll get to the rainbow and the ten of cups again beautiful okay and what is the realization what is the realization for our beautiful leo friends for this reading coming in Cross watchers also. Okay, let's see. The Two of Wands. It's time to make a decision to give generously to the relationship. Also to, because this is based on the fact that the realization that walking away, pulling back, close the relationship down. You know, you don't just walk away. You have to talk. So we see pages here for communication, so it looks really beautiful, Leo. Let's pull a couple of just fun tarot of sexual magic cards. I never know what I'm going to get. It's like that, that line in Forrest Gump. Life is a box of chocolates. You never know quite what you're going to get. But let's see what the fantasies are here, because this devil energy means that the two of you are missing each other tremendously. Oh, oh. Oh, the Sun card. Leo, that's your energy. You want to kiss your person. Look at all these pomegranates. It's all about the abundance, the lushness of the love, the happiness. This is the happiest card in the deck. This is the almost happiest card in the deck. Wow, Ten of Cups, the happiest relationship card in the deck. So the Sun card 
and right now ten of swords see get out of your head spirit is saying get out of your head so that you can have this incredible new beginning and look at that energy Leah, I'm going to leave it there. Take care. Sending you love from Chicago. Send some back and tell me where you're from. Bye-bye.